Alright, and we're back. And we have some, uh... Actually, for this, for the snowfields here, we have some appropriate music. It's still the... The Great Glacier music. Let's see what this dragon is. This is the actual red dragon. So we know that we can beat this. Unless it's different from the one we actually fought. Okay, we got a pearl win right away. <laughs> I'm a little upset that we're fighting the red dragon again after fighting a red dragon in Gogo's Dungeon. That kind of sucks. But maybe this one will be easier. I think we can pull this off just because of Mimic, but, uh, it would be really nice to maybe go and put our blizzard orbs back on. That'll probably help. Especially since no one has the power to bring back butts. I think we might be okay though. We'll 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 give it a shot without him. Grand Train's doing a lot of damage from Ono and from Dagger. It's just a nice blue magic chain that we have going here. Okay, that hurt. We'll have to Pearl Wind next. With Ono, at least. Even if Alma randoms Pearl Wind, she's only going to heal us for 217. That's no good. Those were some nice randoms, though. Yeah, we may as well mimic Pearl Wind, too. Nice block. Oh, no. I don't have any way to heal that, either. We're just gonna have to Grand Train forever and hope it works. I could have been very prepared for this fight, but as it is, I'm woefully unprepared because I didn't know it would be the Red Dragon. These two characters seem to be okay. And the fact that they're tossing Grand Trains back to back is really good. Until, of course, Ono runs out of MP. Uh, if that happens, we're just going to uh, totally skip his turn every time. And just continue to mimic Grand Train. Because as long as it's the last thing that we did, I can continue to mimic it. So if he, for some reason, uses all of his MP up, and she can no longer, he can lo no longer throw grand trains, she will be able to indefinitely. <laughs> Unless she gets flared and killed like this. That's a shame. Oh boy. We are doing a hell of a lot more damage than we did in Gogo's uh, Go -Go's dungeon to it, though. Come on, man. Nope, that's it. That's gotta be it, right? Good god. Alright. We gotta set up our, our stuff to be able to take on a red dragon then. Which we definitely can. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and instead of black belt you, we're gonna give you the wall ring. And... White cape's fine. Wall ring is going to reflect flare 
and uh, we need to give you, instead of the white cape, we need to give you the thing that protects you from being petrified. This is the jewel ring. Okay. Uh, so you have a blizzard orb, so you're not taking damage from fire. Gold hairpin is kind of needed. Um, you should probably have a wall ring, too. Sounds about right. Actually, wait. I think we have another blizzard orb, don't we? Yeah, do that. And then Alma, you should have a wall ring and running shoes. That should be better. Actually, we have another jewel ring. No, we don't. Uh, I can ribbon her, though. That's fine. Ribbon and wall ring. This should go a lot better. <laughs> of course, we get in a fight before the dragon this time. to, uh, well, I mean, we kind of have protection from it with our blizzard orbs and stuff, but it would be kind of nice to random, uh, force field and just make fire totally, totally not work on us with the, uh, dragon. And I think I'm gonna have to go back in tent already because of El Nino. Not to mention we just used MP for Grand Train and we need all the MP we can get for this fight. Yep, let's go back up in 10. <laughs> so dumb. After that, we're gonna run from whatever fight we get. At least we get to see a real tent this time that isn't invisible. Okay. Let's try this again. If we run into anything, we'll just smoke bomb out of it. Yeah, we're gonna smoke bomb out of this. I'm not dealing with it. Whenever somebody gets an item turn. There we go. <sighs> My cat has no idea how to deal with me locking him out of the office. It's a running theme now. He's just going to sit outside the door and squall at me the whole time. He was fine until I came in here and did this. He has very big attachment issues. And that is not a joke. Or separation anxiety, I should say. But he's my buddy. He can get over not seeing me for an hour. I don't know how, what the heck he does when I'm at work, jeez. Anyway, back to red dragons, or well, green dragons, in the ice dragon spot. Okay, butts didn't get flared immediately this time. So that's nice. That's gonna heal him, but not for much. I'd rather that healed him than me just getting hit by it, to be honest with you. I don't think this is going to be too bad now that we're set up to fight it. That's really what it comes down to in this game, also, is like your equipment and your relic setup and stuff, that's really what matters in FF6. I think somewhere I read that, you know, you could technically beat the game at level, like, four, just because of having the right equipment. Um, so yeah, that kind of sucks that she's, speaking of level four, was hit by a level four flare. So she's gonna die every time that happens. Which is crap. So we're gonna life 
and I guess let's not waste a turn. Let's haste on it. Alma's gonna three times lure again, and then Ono is gonna have to pearl wind on his turn. And there's flare. Ain't got reflect. Good. That's a little extra damage for us. <laughs> so he's gonna life her and haste Ono. Elmo is gonna random her uh, lures, and then Ono is gonna pearl wind. And I feel like uh, Dagger should mimic it. Discord doesn't help us here. It never does. Neither does Condemned. But she got Grand Train as her first one, so that's good. There's the Pearl Wind. Dagger is going to mimic the Pearl Wind, so we will all be at full health. And Buttswell, never mind, Dagger's dead again. Because level 4 Flare. Okay, we might have to keep her dead. <sighs> yeah, we're going to have to keep her dead, because we can't keep picking her up like that. That's fine. It sucks, but it's fine. It took three people's turns just to, uh, or two people's turns just to get her back standing and at full health. Oh, great, Alma. You're the best. <sighs> RNG Jesus just cursed us, man. There's a flare. I bet it's on butts. Yep. Cool, man. Alright. Because it was on butts, we can't pick up Alma or Dagger now. We are stuck with Ono throwing Grand Trains and hopefully winning. There it is! Nice job, Ono. I can't clap loud because it's late, so golf clap. Alright. We got a Mega Elixir out of it, and that's one of the dragons down. Um, I'm kind of scared. To walk from here to the save point. I'm gonna be a wimp. We're in a phoenix down butts and then we're going to life everyone and then run up to the save point. Okay. Uh, I was worried for no reason but I really didn't want to like wipe after finishing that and have to fight him again. So save Arino and now we have a fight with a frozen golem. Once we get through all the encounters, there's so much crap in these fields. Good for you with your dumb cave in. Nobody cares. I hope these couple of quasars beat up Sandstorm. Oh no, it might be dead. Swirl J, what's that? doesn't matter, we blocked it. <laughs> Come on, Trap. Well, I only targeted one with it. Oh yeah, it moves targets if you kill the first one and it continues. Good, good, good. Keep forgetting that. Anyway, um... Mm -hmm. Friggin' Phoenix down again. God, I don't have enough potions. Dude, we have to tent again. <sighs> Firing up this episode and everything is annoying right away. <laughs> Let's change everyone's equipment now. Actually, we might want to hang on to it just because Golem could be doing Tritok stuff, which is all ice. And we want to block that if we can. I'm not fighting these things again, dying, so I'm going to switch to butts, and we're going to smoke bomb out of here. Not worth that much, uh, not worth the experience it gives us, and it's definitely not worth having to run back and tent again, in case of a stupid sandstorm. Alright, let's go. Alright, Golem, facing away from us. He doesn't care if you're asking him. He's got shrapnel. 
and we're gonna throw down. Ooh, I almost exploded. Jeez, Tony. Mimic. And three times lower. Shrapnel was doing a lot to him. Wowie. We went from the Quasar show to the Grand Train show. Alma, please. <laughs> Do something good. Somebody's frozen, maybe. Oh, she's got a ribbon on. Oh, I guess that doesn't protect from being frozen. Oh well. Okay, yep, we got him. Cool. Golem is down. We get to get his Esper and see what it teaches us. And who can equip it? Sleep Imp and Cure 3. Cure 3 is nice. None of my main characters can equip Golem. That's a shame. Alright, let's walk back down and save again. Before we jump down into Amaro's dungeon. Don't trust it. I'm excited to see who's in a mirror spot now. Maybe it'll be Boozer. There's also a piece of Magicite down there we're gonna get to. These encounters are rough, man. It's just shrapnel. At least this is a healthy looking Chupan, unlike the one we fought on the airship before the floating continent. That thing was. That thing was definitely. It had, <laughs> it had one face in the grave and its other face on a banana peel. Oh my gosh, the encounters, dude. What I wouldn't do to have a character that can, quit, can equip the Moogle Charm. It's gonna have to be whoever Gogo is, right? It's got to be whoever Gogo is, because it showed no one being able to equip it on my item screen. And Gogo's the only character I haven't gotten yet that's new. Because I got Setzer, who's, or Umaru, who's Setzer's sprite. <laughs> Calm down, butts. Come on, dude. Save that for the boss battles, man. Oh, 
<laughs> the trial music from Chrono Trigger. Dude, I love this. <laughs> I think I messed up the way I was supposed to go here. No. We're good. What kind of enemies we have down here? Hopefully they're like Grand Trains. Oh, that's a confused butts with shrapnel. I don't want that. Exploder! How much HP did you have left? 443? Okay. Your friend is probably dead then. It's the Master Pug! What is wrong with this game? Well, they're dead. Yeah. Okay, well. We're dead. There's no way, dude. Pug, are you kidding me right now? <sighs> I just am having no luck with these monster in the boxes in the world of ruin, dude. Get me out of this fight. I ain't interested, dude. It ain't on, pal. <laughs> You're not allowed to get annoyed, Tony, no matter what. Want to kill the master pug? You come back and kill it. Just leave the chest alone, man. Don't get frustrated trying to smash your face against it and hope you win. If you're not ready, you're not ready. Just stay away. We gotta change our friggin' equipment now. Okay. You can have your running shoes back. You have your white cape back white cape and your running shoes back. Oh, you didn't have one running shoes. Uh, you had double white cape, wasn't it? Um, yeah, let's bury a ring here just so you have a little bit. This is, I think he had the blizzard orb because it was, yeah, it was making his magic attack better. Okay. Come on. We're just running. I'm out of here. Peace. These encounters are ridiculous. I'm just gonna fall in the closest hole to me. I'm not even gonna, yeah. There we go. Stay away from the pug's chest. Good lord. More of these dogs, huh? Oh, I know they're weak to fire, and they're most certainly weak to grand train, because everything is. So Alma did two Grand Trains, Ono's doing a Grand Train, and then a Grand Train's gonna get mimicked. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely the Grand Train show. All aboard! That thing's death attack is Shrapnel Flash? What's happening? Stop! Get annoyed. Stop getting annoyed. It upset you that much? You smoke bomb, dude. Everything's fine. I'm not looking forward to this at all. I have a feeling something's going to be very bad about it. <sighs> Why didn't I pearl wind?
this is my slightly annoyed face. to be out of this dungeon. I'm telling you right now. We're not going to get a chance to pearl win, so we actually have to hard heal ourselves here. With beef jerky! <laughs> and potions! Don't be a hard boss. Okay. It's not a returner. Piccolo. Oh, I guess that's the name the game randomized for him. Okay. I was gonna say, I know that's not who that is. Why didn't I save Steve before this fight? That's a very good question. There's no telling if it's going to be something really stupid. Either north. Either north. Okay, so that's his uh, counterattack. Got it. Okay, Alma Pearl winded us. That's good. I'm going to have to use Ono's turn doing it. himself. Wow, Potion was his green cherry this time. That's funny. Come on, Graham Trains. Just finish it. Finish it. Shrapnel? Keep going, buds. Come on. There it is. Cool. Piccolo. I know that's not who that's supposed to be. That looks nothing like Piccolo. Looks like a weird mix between a returner and lock. <laughs> yeah, listen to Dagger. Okay, he's the go-go then. Oh! It's Sid! From Seven! Sid Seven. There we go. Well, okay. Uh, let's see what he randomed as his commands. Oh yeah, we gotta get the airship first. Let's get out of here. <laughs> let's see what Seraphim is teaching us too, and if anyone can equip it. Doom and scan, and it's another EXP egg. None of my characters here can. I wish you could warp out of, uh... Actually, I'm out of warp, stick, warp stones anyway, but... I wish you could warp out of here. As it is, we have to... Walk all the way out. So, that's Enmero's spot, that's Gogo's spot. Uh, we got Arvis, we got Butts from... Uh, we got Arvis from Mob Liz, we got Butts from the Fanatics Tower. We got the uh, Setzer Rage clone from uh, Jidor. And we got Ono from Mount Zozo. Does that mean Boozer is in the freaking Phoenix Cave where he's supposed to be anyway? That's dumb.
That's our only next place, right? Is, uh, is Phoenix Cave. And I suppose Sid, Sid's character is the one that can equip the Moogle Charm, if anyone can. Let me, let me check the Moogle Charm. Sid 7 can use it. Okay, so we can have a team for the Phoenix Cave that doesn't have to worry about fighting anything. That's good. So we can take this team in. If we switch Sid to the, uh, the bad team that doesn't have to fight. And that's how we'll get through it. And depending on how good Sid's commands are, he might be a new part of the team. I don't know. Might have a replacement for uh, Alma. Oh, whoops. Look what I'm doing. Hey, you don't look so good, man. Let me heal you. You don't look so good. Let me heal you up, man. I tried my best to help you. That's really dumb that Boozer's in the Phoenix game. I hope that that was just a random vanilla thing and his character isn't always going to be there. shrapnel before Butts gets condemned because we got another Pearl Wind going down. Maybe. There it goes. It doesn't interrupt his attack, I'm pretty sure, so he can just keep going. It might condemn him before the end of the battle. Or we might just finish. Hey, we made it. Cool. Get me out of this place, man. I don't want to come back here until I have Boozer. <laughs> that place was freaking rough. Alright, let's go see what Sid got. You're not an old man, Robo. Alright. Let me see exactly what you're working with. Oh, duh. You can have anything. That's right. But your magic power sucks. Pretty much all your stats suck. Holy crap. Um... Hmm. I mean, it's nice being able to throw down whoever with, or him with whatever you want on, but I'm kind of thinking that he's, uh, not good enough to do anything, because having a 28 magic power and a 14 vigor, you know, like, even shrapnel flash wouldn't do much for him. Um, he can't equip espers that I'm aware of. Um, Yeah, even putting lore on him or anything like that is 
is uh, he's just not good enough to make it good, right? Having Mimic is great, but having Mimic as a character that doesn't have crap stats is even better. So, what can you equip? Lances? That makes sense for you. You're Sid. I can't even check you because you don't have magic equipped. That's dumb. Okay. But he can equip the Moogle Charm, which is the point. Alright. That's a shame. I actually do like Sid from 7, but... He's pretty useless. We need Boozer back. We don't have X-Death because we don't have anything to bet for the... Uh, to bet for the Striker. Um... I mean, I guess I could go check and see if we do. I know I don't have one, but there might be something I can bet for one. XP egg for the sky render. That might be worth getting for when we're uh, training for Kefka's tower. Blizzard orb gets me a striker. Nothing in here that I can uh, bet for a paladin shield, sadly. We would only want it for being a paladin shield, though, because whatever it teaches us is not going to be Ultima. All right, let's bet the uh, the um, Blizzard Orb, one of our Blizzard Orbs. Oh, Wing Edge gets me a Striker too. That's probably better. do other than... Oh, he has the X magic skill. That sucks. Um, not everything Ono does is going to be good. Let's try Butts and see if he shrapnels. He does have the ribbon on, too. Doesn't he? No. Alma has the ribbon. He's just attacking. <laughs> Butts, how about a shrapnel flash, bro? That would go a heck of a lot better than swinging that knife you got. Do what I tell you, dude. Come on. Stop getting hit by cards. I mean, he's... On the damage. He's doing okay on damage. He's chanting. Dang it, what are you doing? You're hastening yourself. You already have running shoes on, dude. Come on, butts. You're smarter than that. Double haste. Come on. Do something good. Not so good. Again, on the plus side, he's not taking a whole lot of damage from this thing. I think he's just going to win from survivability. Like, sheer, sheer survivability. Just swinging. He's never gonna shrapnel flash, dude. The script isn't there. Fast forward! Oh, he did do shrapnel flash. Okay, we have a striker now. <laughs> Let's go save. We'll go back in and we'll get X-Death. It's not like we're going to use him or anything, but it'll be nice to have him. Ethospoo for an Ogre Nyx and X-Death. Alright, butts. Go get him. I 
don't know why he's so into using the fight command. He's like, look dude, you made me shrapnel flash all game, let me swing my knife. going to be the team that we, uh, take, you know what we should do before we go to Phoenix Cave? It's silly to do, because I really don't want to go to, um, Kefka's Tower until we're ready to go, but we have a Moogle Charm, so before we go to Phoenix Cave, we're going to land right here. I'm gonna save. We're gonna do the scene for jumping in. And we're just gonna loot all three paths that we can with Sid with his Moogle Charm. That's what we're gonna do. Butts won't disappear, it's fine. Oops. Uh oh. Oh. I gotta sneeze. These have, this place has some uh, very high tiered items, obviously. I just put the Moogle Charm on. How did I get attacked? Charm is making me get attacked. Okay. So the Moogle Charm is totally useless. Neat. Alright, I guess we're going to the Phoenix Cave then. <laughs> that really, really sucks, actually, because if the Moogle Charm doesn't work. says no random enemy encounters, but no encounters is the effect. What is the problem, then? I'm so confused. Unless there's monsters that just fall under the flag of, like, not being able to be thwarted by the Moogle Charm, that's a little goofy, if it's the case. Well, we'll see if the Phoenix Cave is the same. So Sid is being totally useless then. Okay, Moogle Charm is on. Useless. Moogle Charm, totally useless. I don't think it has anything to do with what's equipped. We're just gonna give him item command so that he can smoke bomb away from stuff, I guess. That's really dumb. What's the point of a Moogle Charm then, if it doesn't work? Okay. 
and then we've got uh, we've got music from Karnak in FF5 and the ship graveyard. All this is going to be dumb. I have no outside of battle healing. My items are too low. We're going to have to go straight to Pearl Winds. And we'll mimic it. That way we get a double heal out of it. <clears throat> this is going to be a little ridiculous since that Mogul Charm doesn't work. I don't even know why I'm trying right now, considering... All he's got to do is run into a battle he can't run away from, and we're boned. Meteor? Everything sucks. getting annoyed. Run. Doom darts. Ray. Alright. Oh, crap. I gotta go over here. Run. As long as everything here is able to be run from... I can continuously use smoke bombs with my other team. Team. It's not even a team, it's just Sid. Because Moogle Charm is awful. What is the point of a Moogle Charm that doesn't Moogle Charm? It just gives stamina minus two. sucks that my last character is totally bad. Here's a meteor again. Yay! Because let's give these random things meteor! Rando gonna rando, dude. Double Quasar. That's nice. save state because he could die instantly. I don't want to worry about doing that. Uh, healing him doesn't even matter because he's just going to die if he doesn't do things right anyway. One step. Oh my god. Okay. So we are going to have to heal him. So he can take at least some kind of hit. I can't believe I just used an X potion on Sid. Come on, 
get your turn. He's stopped. This is impossible. Why doesn't the Moogle charm work, man? <sighs> it seemed to work on that first floor for a second. And he stopped again. stopped again and dead I'm trying this one more time see if he can get a smoke bomb off oh my god I got a preemptive hooray I shouldn't have used a smoke bomb on a preemptive I should just run just wasted one of my smoke bomb opportunities I'm not even touching any of these chests dude I don't trust them through this whole dungeon by save stating with Sid's team. Maybe. Why did I random a Moogle charm that doesn't Moogle charm? I know there's a formula for the Moogle Charm. I know that it just sets your encounter rate to close to zero. Not that it's perfect even in the vanilla game. You can still get attacked by some things while you have it. If, you, if a certain conditions are met. I have no idea what those conditions are. And I have no idea why... Um... SIDS wouldn't be working. I just think it has something to do with the randomizer. Um, randomizing that the Moogle Charm doesn't do anything. That's what I'm thinking. Do not blowfish me. Are those your death attacks? They are. Not. They are not. You didn't die. You just countered with blowfishes. dungeon. It is not happening. Not after I've gotten this far. If I waste an X potion, if I can waste an X potion on Sid, I can definitely do it for Ono so that he can freaking uh, so that he can hurl windows. Hi Sid, you useless bastard. Alright. Let's get moving. Gotta walk all the way around that. We're preemptive. We're running. I don't even want to deal with you guys. I actually have to step on this, and he's gotta walk all the way around. Sid, I swear to you. Don't 
don't die immediately. Evil Toot. He's probably got something wrong with him. Okay, he's imped. That doesn't keep him from running, luckily. Imped with sunglasses. And we're out of here. all they do is evil to and it doesn't destroy me we can continue to run I've only got three smoke bombs left though he stopped exactly like the strategy of now he's berserked. I don't exactly like this strategy of like this is kind of manipulating RNG to be able to get a chance to run. But I don't want to have to go through this dungeon again. <laughs> I think he'll get to use a smoke bomb because I queued it up even though he's berserked. Yeah. He's poisoned now too. That's great. to a save point. Uh, honest to God, good old save point. These guys aren't hard to beat. Phoenix Cave is mean. All these last few dungeons I've been in have been very mean and very annoying. But I'm trying. I'm trying real hard not to be annoyed here. I'm really upset that my Moogle Charm doesn't work, dude. <laughs> oh, well, that's instantly a loss. We gotta force an encounter because I have a feeling that one's always gonna be a pincer. Can't run. Well, that's probably an instant loss no matter what, then, isn't it? Yeah, dude, he can't do anything. The only thing I can think to do is give him some skills of some kind that might help him get out of this. got stuff equipped now, so maybe he can survive a little bit. He can't run from this fight, though. He's got to do something. So we're going to shrapnel flash and hope it does damage. Okay, he's actually doing damage with it, then. I thought that was going to draw from his vigor stat, which is like crap. It's still not doing a lot. Hmm. 
Don't be stopped. You're berserk now. That's gotta be over, right? Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. No reason to have the Moogle Charm equipped at all anyway. just because he gets a status effect, you know? Let's see how much he's even doing with Grand Train. His magic power is crap. <laughs> okay, about the same as Shrapnel Flash, so I guess we can just keep mimicking that for free. I wish I had never come in here with one Sid. I should have left and built a party for the second party, like a smart guy, but now I'm stuck with save stating through this place and hoping that we can kill him. Alright, Grand Train's a bad idea. We just need to Shrapnel Flash forever. Because it can random a bunch of times instead of just one time going with decent damage. like it just did one time with decent damage. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> nope. Okay. I feel like if I go in here and I force an encounter here, might not have to fight those things up there. Let's see if that actually happens. I can run from. I can legit get away from these things. Those skeleton guys, I cannot. We only have one smoke bomb left, though. After that, we're stuck with regular running. stopped. Yeah, nothing is, uh... You know what? I bet the charm bangle is going to work better. <laughs> I think these encounters are just... Uh, I'm preemptive, just run. Okay. I think these encounters are just set, man. I feel real dirty about doing the save states thing through here. I should not have done it, honestly. And I'll never do that again. Seems very dishonest. But... I didn't want to have to, after I did the shit I did, I didn't want to have to, uh, have to come back, you know, just try and regular ass run away here and see what happens. Probably ain't gonna happen for us, is it? Okay. Actually regular ran away there. Okay, well, 
Luckily now our Sid doesn't have to move that much anymore. So we should be okay. That's real, real dumb. My friggin' Ono got, uh, preserved, so he can't even, um, Grand Train now. Okay, get back into it, man. Don't be upset. Don't be upset, Tony. Don't get annoyed. Teetering. I'm teetering on the cliff of annoyance at all times right now <laughs> because of this place and because of everything that's happened. From the moment I loaded this up to now, I've been pretty annoyed. <laughs> Berserking my ninja, dude. The game is just trying to be annoying now. World of Ruin is a dick. See, and still, this game is... Remember how I said World of Ruin was where it was going to get hard? The game still isn't that hard. It's just really annoying. This World of Ruin has just taken the easy mode out and replaced it with, uh, annoyances. That's all. Okay, now we have a dragon to beat. This I am going to save state for. Never know which dragon it is. It's the storm dragon. Nobody's absorbing anything there. for us here, but once we do it, we'll be able to mimic it with Dagger, and she'll help us more from it. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, right. Step mine. what are we up to now? We're up to a grand. I oh, never went my oh no. Only thing we can hope for now is uh, Alma doing Pearl Wind. Which it doesn't look like she wants to.
Why do you not have the Behemoth suit equipped? That's weird. But you're gonna have the Force Armor, and then... Scimitar is fine. You have the Aegis Shield, which protects you from that stuff sometimes. Don't have a Thunder Shield. God, I wish I did. Behemoth suit's good for you. What does Zarina Gown do? Isn't it half damage from stuff also? No. Okay. Zarina Gown, I guess, is gonna do stuff for you. Okay. This is the best idea I have. Um, white capes would be good on everyone. Fight me. Alright. That's gonna hurt no matter what. Feel like we should just roll win now. <laughs> and we'll mimic the shrapnel, not the pearl wind. Let's do some damage, man. Oh boy, do I have a great idea. He's taken a ton of damage from everything that the Storm Dragon's doing. He might die. So I'm going to condemn Life 3. Which guarantees either he's going to die from the Condemned and come back to life, or he's going to die from the Dragon and come back to life. I think it's worth it to do. So he's got 20 seconds till he's dead and comes back to life. Interesting strategy. We'll have to see if it pays off. See, because he's kind of getting wrecked anyway. This time he's going to pearl wind. For everyone else. Mostly, not really for himself, because he's going to be dead very soon, probably. Two grand trains from Alma, that's good. Mono's gonna pearl win before he dies, I hope. He did. And then he'll get life threed. Ooh, I should have mimicked it with dagger to bring him back up to full health when after he life three. Oh, I'm not smart sometimes. Garnet's gonna mimic the condemned life three. Dagger, not 
darn it, sorry. I know he's only going to heal 32 with the Pearl Wind, but then Dagger will be able to, um, mimic it. And then when Ono dies, he'll be able to Pearl Wind. Because I promise, Ono's about to die. Yeah. Oh my gosh, he didn't die. I'm so surprised. Um, uh-oh. Yeah, that's on everybody. Dagger's dead, too. Cyclonic went again, so Dagger, or, oh no, it's, oh, oh no, it's not dead. Her one's not gonna help us here, dang it. Okay, so it might help a little. Probably should have condemned life three butts with uh, Alma. I'm gonna do it. Okay, that's fine. Got another pearl win with dagger. Yes, we made it through. What a weird strategy we had, though. Whew. Sometimes you gotta scrape the bottom of the barrel, man. <laughs> Again, not hard. Annoying. <laughs> wow, dude. Alright. Let me check this chest. I got a nut can suit out of it. This is gonna be something like after we beat the Phoenix Cave, I'll come back and probably check these chests. Because they're not empty in the randomizer. They actually have stuff in them. But as for right now, I just want to be done with this dungeon. Roll real bad. Okay, we don't need to run from these guys. They're easy. <sighs> what is Boozer doing here? Oh god, it's a lava cave. No wonder he's here. <laughs> he's a freaking Koopa, dude. Should have known he was going to be hanging out in a place like this. Oh yeah, I forgot. These things take forever to kill. I should have just run. Oh well. I guess we're killing him. Oh no, they do Meteor, and we're at very low health. That was smart, Tony. I think we're probably gonna die. Unless we can just barely do enough damage here. pointless to do Pearl Wind to heal because we're at no HP on oh no. Okay, we got him. Got a Murasam out of it too. Understand that I'm actually, I, I am very upset that I've save stated through this whole thing instead of being legit about it, but you gotta do some things. This The freaking shit was just so annoying that I just wanted it to be done. Hi, Boozer. How you been, buddy? I'm just kidding. I missed you, I promise. Okay, it's actually Phoenix. This was actually the Phoenix Cave. Okay. Fast forward this scene. I know you're gonna bring your girlfriend back. Great job. Alright. 
treasures, please. Got the Illumina. Alright. Um, so, most of what was in there sucked, except the Illumina. We got Boozer back, and he can equip the fixed dice. And if we ever find. Can you equip an Esper yet? Seraphim for Doom and Scan. Well, good for you. I mean, it is a. It is an EXP, I guess, for Okay, so, let's go ahead and make our party. We're gonna have to put Boozer on it, just so we can go to, uh, Narsh. Okay, so for now, it's going to be... Freaking useless-ass Sid, man. We're gonna have to sit Alma out for a minute. and save, because this is the perfect time for me to run into Duvies, I'm sure. Just with how annoying everything else has been, that would be the, the thing that tops it off, is getting attacked by Duvies. some doors for us, buddy. Particularly this one. Which will get me... An economizer. Well, that's real, real good. Um... I guess for now that's going to go on you so that you can keep throwing out grand trains for nothing. Okay. Now the thing is... Let's see if this actually hurts them. Badly, but it did. Let's just throw out the grand train. It costs one MP anyway. And mimic it. And then shrapnel flash. Um, so I just realized something very, very frightening. <clears throat> there is a piece of magicite at the top of the Fanatic's Tower in the Randomizer. The Fanatic's Tower is incredibly hard. It is built that way on purpose. Our Moogle Charm doesn't work. So unlike the last game, we actually can't Moogle Charm our way to the top. So, this is just going to be the Curse Shield. So, at the Relic Shop, what am I doing? Is this house up here? Sorry I can't be excited that you're here, Boozer. I'm a little annoyed. This is going to be the Curse Shield, because I think it's always the Curse Shield. Oh, it's a gem box. Well, what does the gem box do this seed? Anything helpful at all? Turns Fight into Mimic. Well... That's interesting, because that means we can be throwing out, um, three Grand Trains pretty much for free. Um, Ono would spend one to initiate the Grand Train train. <laughs> uh, Dagger would mimic it for free, and then whoever I had the gem box on would mimic it for free also which would probably be whoever my third character is other than Butts. So it would be probably Alma. Have that instead of Fight would be pretty good for her. 
Okay, so Narsh just opened up a few new strategies because of the economizer and because of the um, gem box. <sighs> a lot of a uh, lot of thinking that has to happen here for the rest of these dungeons that I'm going to be doing. Uh, Grand Train is going to be great. But, by the same token, the Fanatics Tower is going to be very hard no matter what we do. And Alma is needed, because there is nothing that's teaching us Life 3 at the moment. Um, we're literally going to be racing against the clock, even if we can get to the top of the Fanatics Tower. Um, the thing about that, further becomes, I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to have to condemn to life 3 someone, and then race the condemned to beat the Magi Master before that person dies and gets resurrected with life 3, because my only access to life 3 is currently Alma's condemned life 3, so... I'm going to have 20 seconds to beat that boss, and Grand Train is a long move, and that's my best attack right now. So I'm going to have to throw down Grand Trains, I'm going to have to look up, or I'm going to have to scan the son of a bitch, even if I make it that high up in the tower, I'm going to have to scan the asshole to see how much HP he has, do math the whole time and time my Condemned Life 3 in order to be- wow, dude, this- Whoo, buddy. This seed sucks. We probably don't even want to take butts with us up the tower, because I don't think shrapnel is going to be a thing. We want someone with magic. I'm going to see something here. First of all, so now, no, not you, what am I doing? So you have Mimic now, which I think Mimic is allowed in the tower. don't know is if lore is allowed in the tower. If lore is not allowed in the tower, we're pretty much boned on getting to the top of it. I may have to leave that piece of magicite and never get it, because the Mughal charm is so bad. Let me just check first and see, so we know what we're in for later. Let me just check and see if we can even use lore in the tower. Because I have no idea if it's a thing. <clears throat> no, you can only use magic in the tower. And all of our magic sucks. The only magic we have that's any good is Meteor, and we don't have Life 3 to survive the... We don't have Life 3 to survive the last guy anyway. So... We didn't check Phoenix. Maybe Phoenix is teaching Life 3. Depends on who can use it. Well, there's Ultima. Okay, never mind. We have Ultima. But we still need Life 3 on somebody. And I don't know what the hell teaches Life 3. If anything. None of what we have. And 
no one can probably equip it if we do have it, but okay. So, let me think. There's a few more pieces of Magicite we're missing. We need to do the Ancient Castle, which will transform Odin. Or actually, no, it'll transfer whatever, it'll transform whichever one we get down there. And we have to see what the one down there is teaching us. So we've got the Vanilla Odin spot, we've got whatever that Esper turns into when we go to the Raiden spot. We've got the Vanilla Alexander spot after uh, Sian's dream that we can do. We've still got Baham the Bahamut Magicite location to get from defeating Doomgaze. So that's four pieces of Magicite right there. I don't think we're missing any more, except for the one that's at the top of the Fanatics Tower. But we are going to have to get to the top of the Fanatics Tower. We're going to have to. And whatever Magicite we find has to teach us Life 3, because Alma can't even use her, her command to do it. I'm going to take one more chance and see if the Moogle Charm works. And if it doesn't, we're never trying again. Sid is just going to sit here and never be used. charm doesn't work. So, so okay, who is teaching us Ultima, though? Or, uh, who, who is equipping Phoenix? That's the question. Who can equip Phoenix? Sephiroth on our team. He doesn't get to cast it, but putting uh, Sid on our team and giving him a magic stat or magic command under his status allows him to cast Ultima, then we can mimic it with everyone else. The only plus side is I could do... I'd have to drop Alma for that. Because then I would have... Uh, I mean, we haven't even gotten to see, seen if he can equip Phoenix or not. If he can't, I just feel like this game is going to be, the seed is going to be so annoying that that has to be true. But in that case, we would drop Alma, we would put the gem box on Sephiroth, so that his fight turned into Mimic, and he learned Ultima, and Sid had Ultima because he knows it, and then Sid would have to have the Economizer throw Ultima, preferably with X magic, two Ultimas, and then Mimic with Dagger and Mimic with, uh, um, Sephiroth. And yes, we're, we're drifting back to using Ultima again for the rest of the game. But really, we're not, because I just needed to get through the Fanatic's Tower. As far as fighting Kefka, we can probably Grand Train and stuff like that. We probably won't need Ultima. And in fact, I probably wouldn't want Sephiroth on my team for the fight with Kefka. 
but we haven't even checked yet. So let's just see who can equip Phoenix. Okay, so Lone Wolf can equip Phoenix. He does have a magic command. Well, let's see if anybody else can equip it. Because some Vespers can be equipped between people. So we know Lone Wolf can equip it. Check Sephiroth, check Bunny, check R66Y. Sephiroth can only equip Fender. Good, continue to be useless. Okay. So. Butts might have to leave the party, man. I was trying to figure out if that was going to be a thing. I mean, he's good and all. Shrapnel's great. But... In the case of needing to have Ultima, um, so, let me think here, we are going to want Lone Wolf, Dagger, oh no, need somebody with Mimic. You have Mimic naturally. Alma would have to have a gem box equipped. So would Ono. Um, I could put Arvis on with the gem box instead of Alma because then he could big guard us. But if I have Ono, Ono has the ability to big guard us too. And he'll have a gold hairpin because I'm going to have to put the economizer on Lone Wolf so he throws out one MP Ultimas and then we can mimic them with uh, Dagger and Realm. <laughs> this is tough. I could maybe drop Ono for Sid and give Sid X magic, because then he would learn Ultima because of Lone Wolf, or he would have Ultima because of Lone Wolf, and be able to X magic it. And then everybody on the team would be able to use Ultima and Mimic. Whew, this is a t almost a totally different team. Holy crap, man. Look at what Ultima did. <laughs> Alright, let's unequip all members. And let's re-equip our party. You know what, no, here's what we're gonna do. Because my brain hurts. We're gonna take all members out. We're gonna put Butts on a team by himself. We are going to land and save. And the beginning of the next episode is going to be setting up the party the way we want it. Butts is probably out. Um, so yeah. We're going to be setting up the party the way we want it next episode. This is the end of this episode. Next episode, we're going to go ahead and take care of Doma. We're going to take care of the Ancient Castle. We need to find a piece of Magicite that teaches us Life 3. Um, or else we can't even beat the Fanatic's Tower. I don't know of any other way beating the Magi Master without Life 3. I'm sure there's some way, but this guy has no clue. So, until then, thanks you guys for watching. I know this scene just became incredibly complicated, but that's what makes it fun. Don't get annoyed, guys, and I'll see you next time. Peace!